Okay, now we have sentence number nine. Many of them were Muslims. So many. The word many has been used as indefinite pronoun because it has been used in general way. And then the next we have many people. Many people. We have people noun over here. So it modifies this people, which is noun. So this work, this many is working as an adjective, and this many is working as a pronoun. A very simple formula. If with a pronoun here, with a pronoun. There is close noun, so we it will it would work as an adjective. If there is no noun over here, so it works as a as a pronoun, and here it works as an adjective. Many people it modifies this people, and here people is not mentioned. People is not mentioned, so many has replaced many people. So this is pronoun, and this modify it not. It is not going to replace noun. Rather, it modify the noun, so it is adjective, and this one is a Pronoun. So many is indefinite pronoun, and many is adjective of number indefinite, indefinite adjective of number because we don't know about the exact number of people. So we say many people. So this is adjective of of number, in indefinite adjective of number, and this one is what we call this is indefinite pronoun. Now you see we have another. We did not see any of them, any of them. So any is. indefinite pronoun be because it is used in general way not in specific way it is adjective of it is uh, indefinite pronoun now you see we did not see any person now once again we have noun person over here so this any tells us about this person noun so this is working as adjective here this any is working as adjective because quite close to it there we have a noun person so this is adjective adjective of this is adjective of number it tells us about or modify this noun person and here with any there is no noun so this this is indefinite pronoun this and this one is adjective of number the next we have do good to others now others this is a other people others means other people so other people is not mentioned over here rather it has been replaced by others do good to others so other is working as a indefinite pronoun indefinite pronoun and we have do good to other people now it tells us about people noun is here quite close to this adjective this other is working as an adjective over here and it modify this people so this is this other is adjective of means adjective of number and this one is a indefinite pronoun so there is a difference between this one other and this one here it works as an indefinite pronoun and here it works as an adjective which modify or tells us about this noun people the next word we have we have sentence did you ask anybody did you ask anybody so anybody is working as a indefinite pronoun it has been used in general way not in specific way so this is adjective of so uh, i mean to say indefinite pronoun the next word what is everybody's business is nobody's business so everybody means refers to all people all people everybody okay and uh, it has been used in general way then nobody nobody business so it is also used as a words we call uh, indefinite pronoun these are both indefinite pronouns i hope that you have uh, understood means the distributive pronoun and we also discussed what we call demonstrative pronoun and we also and now we will discuss relative pronoun relative pronoun or relative pronoun for example you have sentence i saw a man who was plain for example we have sentences like this one was plain okay now you see i saw a man we have noun and it relates or refers to this man this who basically refers to this noun man so it relates or it describe or it refers to this man so this who is best then this who is what this is relative pronoun because it relates it describes it refers to a noun which is man so this man is what we call it this we call it antecedent we call it antecedent 
or what we call we also call it referent referent and this one is relative pronoun because it relates it describes bayan karta hai na ye ishara karta hai bayan karta hai kis cheez ko this man ko so this is antecedent this this is noun and this noun is not antecedent or referent and this who is working as a relative pronoun okay and the next we have aisa amen aisa amen that was plain so that is also working as a relative pronoun for example we have aisa a pen ha huh? which i like which i like so this is which which is used for things not for human being so pen here which is relative pronoun this pen is working working as a referent or antecedent so we have who that and which these are words we call relative pronouns now you see we can also use it i saw a man a man who i like who i like or i saw a man that i saw a man that i like now you see here this who is working as a subject though it is relative pronoun but sub subject of this clause this is a clause and we don't have any subject over here so this is working as a subject and say here we have means who is the objective form objective case of what who who is a object and who is subject in this sentence and we have this subject over here you see i is subject over here and this is working as an object who is working as a subject over here we we don't have any i over here so this is who is working as a subject as a relative pronoun and here who is working as an object but this is also relative pronoun here that that i that is also working as an object over here because we have subject i over here so that can be used as a subject and as an object as well who is a subjective case and who is a objective case now the next we have i saw a pen that is that is very expensive very expensive now you see this date is working as a subject this is working as a subject because we don't have any subject over here so that is subject that is working as a subject now you see the main thing is that that i saw a man who was playing so this who was playing this is subordinate clause because this who is working as a subordinate conjunction as well and this is main clause because there is no conjunction before this this is main clause and this is subordinate clause this subordinate clause is also known as a relative clause we call it relative clause we also the defining clause and this is also known as adjective clause because this whole clause tells us about man which is noun so any word or any clause that tells us about a noun so that is adjective clause this is also adjective clause because it defines it tells us about a noun so this is adjective clause as well i hope that you have understood relative pronoun as well so relative pronoun who that which whom that we have also another who's Who's who's? I saw a man whose father is a doctor. Is a doctor. Now you see, is a doctor whose? Tell us about this man. It is also a relative pronoun because it refers to this man, which is antecedent. So whose is possessive case? Malkiyat kosho kade whose? So whose is a possessive case of a who? So whose is also relative pronoun? I hope that you have understood relative pronoun.
demonstrative adjective, uh, demonstrative pronoun and indefinite pronoun. Thank you and have a nice day.